organizing your speech. And it will be five to seven minutes. And it will be the title of the speech is How Teaching Makes You Better. So please welcome Tom. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good to be here. Uh, I think this will tie in nicely with what Andrew, uh, I'm sorry, Anthony was talking about earlier. The lack of a little bit of vocabulary, but I like to do it. So what I want to talk about today is, uh, is uh, teaching. I imagine as a lot of people in here have been, I've been kind of teaching uh, in a way most of my adult life. When we think about teaching, we think of it as a calling, uh, a noble profession for educated people who are going to get paid a lot less than the work. I've come to take on a much more uh, selfish view of it. Teaching can benefit you in a lot of ways, but I'm going to talk about three of them. Uh, as I've been doing this throughout my life, I've been you know, a counselor at sports camps and in the military. I did some training programs. You know, I made a little money at the sports camps. And it was fun. And I had to do it in the military, so I just got in trouble. It wasn't too big a deal to me. But my most recent job, and this is part time, is I'm a certified flight instructor. I do this, you know, on the weekends. So teaching your skills to other people, there's a lot of different benefits. You know, it can, yeah, you're helping people out and that's kind of the reward for it, but it also gives you a chance to kind of get back into why you, why you do what you do in the first place. And this could be any skill you may have. You may play the piano, you may play tennis, program, speak, uh, whatever it may be. This gives you a chance to really hone your skills. So there's, Three benefits I'm going to talk about uh, today. Number one, teaching allows you to work on your skills. Number two, teaching forces you to do your homework. Number three, teaching keeps you in, in the loop and up to the most current information and newest uh, techniques and ways of doing things and whatever the field may be. Uh, so I'm going to be speaking from my experience as a, a flight instructor, but I think we all, like I said, that we can all come up with examples from life uh, where you've taught your skills to others and it's helped you actually improve in that area. Uh, number one, teaching makes you practice your skills. I think a lot of times uh, in our day to day, whether it's your job or your hobby, when you're on your own, there's nobody looking over your shoulder, you get a chance, or, or not really a chance, but you uh, fall into hab or bad habits of laziness where you can kind of get away with just going through the motions. When you're teaching other people, you you got to get to the fundamentals and back to basics, and that reinforces that to you, so that your 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 fundamentals are stronger, and therefore, as you go along, you'll get better uh, and progress further. Uh, in my job, I have to do basically every day. I take off, I go around, circle around, come back, land. It's all very benign. But when I'm teaching other people, I have to do all of the maneuvers, um, hovering different approach angles, uh, emergency procedures. And this requires me to be, and also I'm talking about it as I'm doing it. So this requires me to be good. Whereas in my day-to-day -day job, a lot of times I can get away with just being adequate. I also have to plan lessons when I'm doing this. So it requires for me to study. Which brings me to the next point. Teaching makes you do your homework. <laughs> when you're teaching your skills to other people, they're expecting you to be an expert. Especially if you're paying or they're paying you. Of course, you get on the books and oftentimes work on your weaknesses. There's certain things about whatever your, your job or your hobby where you may have uh, a good grasp on the basics or a good grasp on, for me, like aerodynamics and all that. I can keep it pretty simple and always have a good grasp. But certain things like weather, I don't really like talking about. I only want to know if it's clear enough to go fly or not. I don't necessarily want to talk about the difference between infection fog and radiation fog. But a student's going to come in, they expect you to be an expert, and they want to know everything in the book. So that, that's an opportunity for you to work on your weaknesses and therefore get better. Also, uh, studying helps you stay informed. Which brings me to my last point. Teaching others will keep you, uh, I say, in the loop on current information. Uh, regulations change, procedures change. There's uh, new techniques from, uh, from other instructors that gives you the opportunity to learn from them. Okay. 
as I said before, it's easy to get into bad habits when you're out on your own. Uh, no one else is watching you. Uh, but when you're teaching other people, it gives you the opportunity to continue and grow and get better with your people. So if we're regularly practicing our fundamentals, studying something like this, and learning the most recent information, we can't help but get better. You'll hear about uh, something I read, it was a year or two ago, about the 10,000 hour rule. It takes 10,000 hours to make world class, or 10 years of uh, intense practice to make, to really be a top in your field. I don't believe you need to be that far along to start teaching other people what your skills are. In fact, that's a good reason to start doing it, because it gives you a chance to start logging those hours and logging that practice time. So in closing, uh, glad to be here to uh, discuss this with you today. Uh, again, I've spoken from my experience as a, a flight instructor, but I think you can all agree from your own experiences on ways that you can go out uh, and whatever your skills may be or hobbies, uh, teach those to other people and use that as a chance for you to improve on them yourself. And who knows, you may develop a side business or a new career, but uh, I know you'll be better for it. Thank you.